So I believe last time you guys were sort of buying things and kind of s s trying to sort out what you wanted to do with the stuff you'd bought. I do believe we did, yes. So, um, uh, how, how difficult is it to uh, to take the the enchantment off of uh, the axe and put it on a different weapon? Like, what, what are the chances of destruction? It's an eighth level spell. Yeah, uh, so it's I, like out of our reach right now. Yeah, yeah. Is there a way that I can just store this somewhere? Like, is there a bank in town? I don't know. How I mean, we, could, we could do the classic... Uh, D and D trope of just burying it in the dirt. <laughs> I mean, you guys are quite friendly with the people at the Grinning Skull Inn. Um, That's in... true. It's quite far capsule. away, though. We well, guys aren't that far away, and you're a couple of days away. Maridor. And I mean, where are you heading next, anyway? Really, what's your next destination? Well, uh, to quote Dorothy, we're off to kill the Lich, the wonderful Lich of Oz. <laughs> but we haven't killed the I vampire. I suppose that would be our next goal, right? Um, but we haven't killed the vampire yet. The vampire's run off, from what I understand. I don't think he's going to be an issue. In fact, do I don't think he's going to be an issue. Do we need to kill the vampire? <laughs> Oh, no, he ran off. He was way too fast for us. He was the yeah. goddamn flat. Sorry, you, you dropped. You dropped. My bad. Our, our Spy the dude, yeah. Um, yeah, uh, so he has been, from what I understand, he's been completely exiled. I think we could even recruit him if we wish. If we find him again. You know, provided he's not entirely dead. <clears throat> I mean, when you guys were speaking to Marin, he talked poorly of the vampire. Yes. Certainly. Well, there's no way we know for certain. He might show up as another enemy... Well, we we have his. We can quote him, with a, you know. He's, he's okay. definitely been abandoned by the lich. I don't think he's been abandoned per se. I mean, there's a couple of different ways. So we should keep it. We should keep an eye out that he might be a thing anyway. You know, because even if, right, even if like he's useless. That lich will still keep him like a harpoon through his chest, all right, and pin him to the wall because the gas he produces will be amazing, you know. Yeah. Even if he's not cooperative, he can be useful. Sorry if I gave you. Sorry if I give the DM an idea, but. <laughs> I think pinning down a vampire is not necessarily that easy. He's a even, lich. Even for a I lich. Mean, <laughs> if, if, if someone could do it, it would be him. Hello. Hello. And you. Oh, I'm getting called. I'll be right back. Gotta take this. Well, I don't really have an opinion. I, I just want to go kill some shit. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we we're just talking about what the party sort of wants to accomplish. Next. Yeah. I feel like we should try to find a, a giant follower so he can use this axe. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck's sake. Yeah, I don't... I mean, what have you got to do? You've got to kill the lich. Um, we already had the sword. Do we know exactly where his um, thing is? Well, I mean, do you recall how to actually defeat a lich? You have to destroy his. Uh... I don't remember the name of it. And then Phylactery. you can kill him. Yeah, and it's in a graveyard in. Uh... somewhere? Maridor, I think? Hmm. Yeah. That might be important. 
Maybe we should let's do it. Although I feel like it might uh <laughs> it might attract his attention very quickly. I sort of feel like you already have his attention, you know. Well, I mean like e- even more so. And and we're not much of a match for the the Lich himself. Yeah. Maybe it'll bring him to us so we don't have to go looking for him. And well that's how the shit out of us. <laughs> Lily? I mean, we have a soul that's good against it. Kind of the whole idea, isn't it? I suppose it just matters if, if we're good enough to use it against them. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the sword will instantly kill a lich if it strikes it, and then it shatters into pieces. So. I don't know what abilities a lich has for, like, avoiding... I'm assuming it varies, depending on the conflict. lich. My assumption was that he's very difficult to kill to begin with, much less yes. with just the sword. But we have the thing that kills him. On him. Catch him no, I mean, I mean, like, he can dodge or, or fly or move away from... You know, if if he's constantly in the air, there's no way you can attack him with a sword. I don't know what the Lich's abilities are, but yeah. Well, yeah, the idea would be to have Spivey get behind him, I'm assuming, and then stab him in the back when he's not even looking. Assuming he can even sneak up on him. Yeah. I'm the best sneaker you'll ever find. <laughs> I just don't know how aware the Lich is, because even his... Uh, uh, the one that we ran into... It wasn't actually him, his clone, I guess. Whatever. Uh, I mean, we could use, like, a, a spell. He, he noticed him, is, is what I meant. Like, an invisibility spell, I don't know. Well, I don't know what we have. Yeah. Well, I have invulnerability potions, so maybe I can just run up and... Ah! <laughs> they don't actually make you invulnerable. I don't way. know, man. <laughs> yeah, if we could get a spell that makes you invisible or something, that might help a lot. Yeah, I believe Anne already has invisibility, so... Oh, yeah, because we used it on the, um, fucking thing. I don't know. I mean, we could have something to, like, mask his smell. I don't know. <laughs> like shit that would make it more obvious actually <laughs> well shall we go to the graveyard and hope that the destruction of his phylactery will lure him to us yeah I think it would that seems like the next logical step destroying the phylactery yeah um, well you guys need to find out where the exact location of, of the graveyard is hmm. maybe ah. someone in Meridor knows Hmm. Or maybe a sage. Well, um, Anne was actually looking into this prior. When you guys were fighting the vampire the first time around, Anne was researching the ways to, to track this down. Ah. And um, did you uh, I'm back, anything? by the way. Did you ever figure out where the graveyard is that holds the king's phylactery? And... Hmm, did I? I let, me, let me recall. I'm pulling a house here. Do I know? <laughs> I know how to track down the vampire. Um, I suppose the vampire would know, wouldn't he? We're off to see the vampire, the wonderful vampire of Oz. 
<laughs> so well, I mean, I mean, he's in you, uh, the Lich is in Meridor. That's a stronghold. And by stronghold, I mean his stronghold. It's going to be tough. But don't we need to destroy the phylactery oh. first before we can kill him? Of course. Permanently. We need to have to find him. Well, no, it means we have to find his phylactery. I mean, he... I thought that, that, that Obsidian Sword ignore the phylactery rule and just kill him. It destroys his physical body instantly. I think you have to do the phylactery. Yeah. If his phylactery yeah. still exists, his then body will regenerate. Reform. We have to destroy the phylactery first, then kill the lich. Yeah, I thought. I mean, I thought maybe the, the uh, sword had some exemptions. I don't even know if the obsidian sword works. Who uh, who has said that the obsidian sword instantly kills the lich? Well, we could find out by identifying the obsidian sword. Uh, well, I mean, it would be, it would be kind of slowly. Okay, so the one it's. Know about that. Unless slowly is. Would you like to identify the obsidian sword? We should, shouldn't we? I figured it'd be very, very easy for a lich to create like a cursed item that it, when it gets into his, it's rumored to instantly mur murder his physical body. That when he gets in, within contact with the lich, actually kills the user. It'd be a very dastardly trick, you could say. Well, if it were cursed, then I never would have lost it. So we know it's not cursed, but we don't know exactly what it does. Yeah, you, you guys did actually identify it in the past. You did that when you first got it. That was ages ago, though, so... So, we do you know it works? Uh, Alright, so mean, we did... We did... We did, had, I, you, oh, had, I, you did identify it, yeah. How many uh, functions did we identify? Uh, that oh. it is plus two, plus four versus undead and extra planar creatures. That's and all my notes on it. Am I the only one that's having difficulty here in Spivey? Yeah, Spivey, mm -hmm. you're sounding a little bit robotic. and I don't know what that's about. Um, <laughs> I can try changing the server region. It's set to US Central, though, so I mean... How about now? That's much better. Okay. Nice. Hmm. Also, we may have some issue or um we may have some issues, guys. There are the well, the lich does control this area as a king. If he sends the civilian population after us as outlaws. We may have some troubles procuring supplies as we march towards Meridor. Has he done that already? Wouldn't we know? We do not know yet. Word does not travel incredibly fast, but he has many powers that could, you know. What he could just as easily create an illusion of himself as the king in this town and declare all of us outlaws. It would be a simple flick of his wrists. So we must watch out for that. I can create magical items from these scrolls that I found, but they would require permanency if we wish to keep them for long. Uh, it's 3,000 gold, although we are running low on supplies. And even that, even if we try to make magical items, we may be interrupted by the whole... The whole whole kingdom is after us, and everyone we know wants to kill us thing. Sounds like you guys need more information, maybe? Maybe we should consult a sage. And? Hmm. Perhaps. Sages have information. Uh, the party does actually know a sage. <laughs> um, I don't know if my, I think Rory is the only person left from actually meeting him. His name is Indeen. Is it the guy that liked Onyx? No. No, that's his master. Ah. 
watch the TV. Uh, I don't remember where he lives. Indian, he lives in New Canaan, where you guys are now. Oh, I, I mean, what, we, what do we want to know? Convenient. I don't, I don't know that what we want to know. Good idea. I mean, he's an expert in cryptology and identification of magical items. Those are his uh, specialties. So maybe he knows where the grave is. I'm assuming that's what cryptology is. <laughs> cryptology is the stuff. No, of it monsters. is. Hmm. The study well, of cryptids. Yeah. We don't even know what type of phylactery is holding the lich. That that's our end game here. For all we know, it could be a grain of sand in Prisket Bay. It'd be a dick move, but let's just do that. I mean, maybe you need to find out what constitutes a phylactery, then. This is what I mean by information gathering. Information it is, then. Okay, we can go see and Dean. Uh, don't forget, you guys, I mean, there is Slowlius as well, who is a potential yeah. other source of information. I'm only reminding you of these guys of these things, because it's been so long since you've been <laughs> here. And the dragon! Yes, that's true. That's true. I've oh, been ages with him. Uh, what's his name? Uh, at all, that's it. At all. I don't remember where Slowlius lives anyway. Uh, I mean, he's trapped what? outside of the plane right now. What? How? Yes. I mean, the Grey Waste set in, right? What? Hmm? Or, hmm, I forget. He is on Pandemonium. We could go after him. Is Actually. That... We still have Spivey. Do you still have that special that uh, a share of the wealth? Uh, what? The the ring. Uh, no, I used it. What ring? The wish one. Yes, we. I think from what I believe, there's one more. Oh, it was given to you with two wishes on it. Mm-hmm. Ah. Then, yes, yes, I have it. Uh, you know, my personal philosophy is, uh, you know, one guy shouldn't get all three wishes. Ah. Do you so, want to use the wish for Slowlius, do you mean? Well, I mean, we have a wish. So long as we word it properly, it's, it could be an ace card. So long as you word it properly, you could still get completely fucked. <laughs> well, well, that is very true. <laughs> it could do quite a lot. Hmm. But I was also thinking about using it. Right? You know that gigantic demon that we found? The one that ate us. Yes, the one that ate us, exactly. I was thinking, yeah. we could use that as a hub zone. We get a, we create a magical item that would instantly transport us to that location. We could create it like a little home, you know? Why do we want that? It has a teleportation device to anywhere, even outside Meriden. Oh, yeah. All but right. do we know it's, how it's, to use it? it? Well, not only, exactly, but I think we can figure it out. No, the genie did it for us, I think. Well, here's the thing. We have another spell 
that I could summon him, and we could ask him. It, it would be it would, he would have to pay a price, so he wouldn't instantly lightning bolt us. But I believe this could be very beneficial. Right. Okay. We, when we teleport somewhere, how do we get back? Well, we have the magic item. I don't know what you mean. Okay, so we it's like a little it's like a little ring, right? And when you punch the ring and you say, "And a terrible wizard, psh, a portal shoots out in which you can step through to get to uh, the, get to the extra, plane, extra plane. Right. And then we can use the teleportation device on the, um, you know. I don't know, that was just a thought. I thought it would be really cool to have like a hub zone. Right. Maybe the spoon knows something. Come out, Spoon. Tell us what you know. <laughs> oh, oh, hey, guys. What's going on? <laughs> Why'd you get him out? <laughs> what do you know about the lich, Spoon? Fuck's sake. Which lich? Wait, I, I don't even know what which lich. I, I joined the party. How the fuck am I supposed to know this? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the king of Meridan lich. Yes. Uh, nah, I don't know him. You fucking useless spoon. <laughs> how, about, how about- Where did we even get him from? Does, any, does anyone want gruel? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, you, you're useless, spoon. <laughs> so I just shove him back in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> this spoon gets so much shit. <laughs> I don't even know why you hate him so much. <laughs> at this point, <laughs> at this point, it's just, it, it's just to do it. It's a meme. <laughs> Alright, so where's, where's the next, where's the next destination then? What's the Aren't fire? we visiting fucking, got his name. Indeed. Yes. Yeah, you can uh, head head back to his little shop in uh, New Dean. I do believe we should. That would be a good. We okay. may have to, we may have to make some time before the a lich six the citizen citizens on us. You know, if that ever happens. Hey, Anne, do you have a spell to make me large? I mean, I don't need a spell for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're dead. Uh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm assuming Phil goes. He's the only one that's actually met Indeen before. Is it the same as guy? Wouldn't Spivey have? Uh, have Indeen might know him as a criminal, yeah. <laughs> oh. Fuck. This well, is I... Spivey's hometown. Yeah. We should all go, but, um... It depends if you guys want to go. Oh, yeah. it'd be... Mm. I don't think we have to worry about being too suspicious now. Right, at least right now. When it comes to that, when someone's after us, we'll have to move about silently, but we can all go. I think this time. Alright. So it's, it's like a small little kind of corner corner shop, and um, as you guys, you know, walk in the front door, there's a little bell that, that rings, and um, there's a... There's like a clerk sitting at a desk, like this female clerk, and she says, um, Oh... Uh, Phil, it's oh, it's good to see you again. You must be here to see Indeem. Oh, he's he's just in the back. Okay. And uh, oh, you, I see you've brought some new some new friends with you. What happened to the others? They're all dead. Oh, oh, oh! I'm I'm so sorry. What happened? Um, they, they died. So so they died. many That's things. What Disintegration, dismemberment, murder, decapitation. I think one of them died to hold uh, uh, a horde of. I don't remember. They just died. One of them just decided to die. <laughs> one of them was disintegrated. 
Here's his ashes. Yeah, one of them was the instantly bag. disintegrated. Uh, a couple of them retired. Uh, yeah, Barrett, Barrett retired. Um, I don't remember what happened to Rob, but um, he uh, Nick died. I don't remember how he died. He probably flying kicked himself to death. <laughs> <laughs> That's his yeah, only I move. I don't remember how he died either. I think it, it was like a. It was near when we found the dark, the underdark. There's like a hole to the underdark. I think he died in that area. That's but, what um, happens when you use the uh, combat and tactics martial arts. There's like one move that's good. <laughs> yeah. The styles are cool, but yeah, the, the actual moves are boring. Yeah. And uh, the Oriental Adventure stuff is way better. Oh, yeah. Ninja's Handbook uh, for Life. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, okay. Um, so you guys head into the next room, and there's, like, papers and books and sheets everywhere, and you see this very kind of small, wiry man sitting at the desk, and he's actually asleep. He's got his head lying on the, on the table. He's got these glasses on. Um Smill smashes Phil smashes his hand on the desk and says, "Wake up!" <laughs> he goes, "Oh, oh, oh!" oh. Huh. Do you ever no. do any work? Oh, oh, Phil! Oh, it's it's good to see you again. Oh, who are all these? Who's that? Who are all these strange, strange people? <laughs> uh, they're my friends. This is Anne. She's a weird. This is Zabby. <laughs> He's... I'm a we- I'm a weird. weird. Uh, I'm a we- whatever, whatever. <laughs> Let's just not pay attention to them. I think. <laughs> I think describing them would take too long. <laughs> he says, "Oh well." Uh... He kind of turns to Anne. He says, "Oh, you seem to be of a, a similar persuasion to me." Uh, no, kind of. Yes, yes. You we'll you so. have been touched by the Great Watcher, haven't you? <gasps> And like at this point, Anne like pulls up a chair, gets like a glass of tea. And, oh yes, yes, let's all, let's all talk about it. It's a great watch. Yes. So, well, we really mustn't oh, talk no, about not, it not, in front of the uninitiated. Yes, yes. In fact, I have I have something to. Sh- oh yes, let's not talk about it right now. Yes, mm, yes. Mm. So well, how how can I how can I help you guys? Um, we're just curious. Um, what is a lich's phylactery like? What is what is it? It says, oh, well, I mean, I, I can dig up the information on that for you, but I'll, I, know, I know I've kind of done it pro bono for you guys in the past, but I, I can't afford to do that anymore, so I'm going to have to ask my usual rate, which is uh, 250 gold for something like this. Ah. Uh. Are we all going to chip in? I'll chip in. I don't have a lot of money right now, though. I'm broke. Okay. I'll just pay. Uh, <laughs> come, on. Come, on. come on, Phil. You, you, you fucking turned in all those gems. You got like thousands it's... upon thousands of ah, gold. Okay. <laughs> What's the price? 250 <laughs> gold. Oh. Yeah. We'll all right. I, I'll, I'll give him 50 platinum. Over, I'll hand over 250. Oh, okay. Okay, so all three there are three people willing to all pay for all of it. <laughs> so what's right, going we'll, on? Let, let's split it. We we get first call on magic items though. I'll chip in a hundred gold. All right, I'll do I... the same. Damn it. All right, I'll give a hundred I'll, I'll give a hundred gold too and you can keep the change. <laughs> oh fuck. He goes, okay. Oh thank you. I'll be able to buy so many more flip flops. <laughs> With that fifty gold, <laughs> that's a lot of flip flops. <laughs> <laughs> the great follower of Conspicor, the flip flop collector. <laughs> I just really like them; they're comfortable, okay, <laughs> but they don't last very long. So I have to buy them in bulk. It's cheaper that way, you know. Um, but so it's all, well, you know, you have to give me a, you know, half an hour or, or something. You can just, you know. Wait around here whilst I dig through my my books, and he kind of gets okay. up and starts. Hmm? Okay. 
Uh, can I help you? Just, oh, well, uh, not really. Ah, okay. No. I understand. <laughs> Uh, he just starts, you know, putting books down, looking through them. Is there anything you guys want to do during this half an hour, or are you just going to wait there? Okay. I'm just going to twiddle uh, my thumbs. Yeah, and... He kinda goes, I suppose I'll keep a lookout. Ah, he- here it is. Promise. It says, hmm. A, a, a phylactery, it says here, is uh, always made out of a... A deep black gem, like an onyx or something. Um, oh shit! And uh, you, what you do is you carve out the inside, and you and you turn it into a, a like a little chest. And the outside is inlaid with gold and runes. And on the inside, the caster writes his name and some other things I don't know about. It says uh, all all phylacteries must look like this in one way or another. Well, that should be able, pretty easy to identify. <laughs> yes. Uh, was there anything else you, you wanted to know, or...? Um... I'm not sure. Um... Do you know? Do you just know about monsters, or do you also know some of their histories? Of, let's say local oh, monsters. Yes. I know everything about monsters. W- would you be able to tell us about monsters in particular? Uh, yes. What, what were you looking for? I mean, well, perhaps the graveyard where. Um... Hmm. That vampire, right? We, we fought the speedy one. Do we, do we actually know his name? Anyone catch that? Uh, you guys do know his name. Let me grab it quickly. Oh, this might be another one of your rates, though. Hmm. Um, his name is Landerar. Landerar? Yeah. Do you, do you know what perhaps the history of his is? graveyard where he was buried, where he grew up. Stuff like that. He says, oh, well, Landerar, I, I have heard of him. He's he, he's from the north. He was sent as a uh, as a gift to our, our great king from, uh, from the Imperat. Hmm. The Emperor far in the north, in Polonia. That's all I know about him, unfortunately. Although I suspect he has some sort of sleeping ability, given his parentage. And what's his parentage? It says, oh, the, the Emperor is his father, who is uh, able to put those to sleep with nothing but a gaze. Make much of sense. Hmm? That makes quite a lot of sense. He says, uh, "Is that is that all, or is there anything else I can I can help you with?" I don't know anything else. Unless we have magical items to be identified. Is there? Any, there's no dragons in Meriden any, anymore, right? There's one. I mean, no, shut up. <laughs> yeah, there's it's none. From to you. There's one. <laughs> ah, yes, that's yeah. okay. So, there is one. Although you have never met him, man. Hmm. Well, thank you. I whisper back. What? Uh, 
Indy would say, oh no, there are no dragons left since the, the Great War, where they were all slain. Yeah, that's a fact, I know that, for sure. Yes. There are, there are some on the outskirts in the mountains, but that's about it. Why, why would you be looking for a dragon, anyway? Just knowing what threatens the local area. You said they were all slain. Do you know where their bones were taken? Uh, I, I think, I believe they were destroyed. I just kind of looked to the rest of the party and mouth. No, they weren't. They were not destroyed on our luck. And I turned back and I... What was that, uh, Anne? You cut out. Oh, what, what did you guys last hear? I said something about you turning to the party and saying something. Yeah, I, I whisper, no, no, they probably weren't. Not on our luck. I just shake my head. <laughs> yeah. yeah, thank you again. Says, oh, no, no problem. Come back any time. Alright, right. so what's, what's the plan then? I mean... Were you, were you wanting to track down a dragon, Aaron, or...? Uh, well, if there... Hmm. I was wondering, like, if there's any evil ones the Lich would have in his army. So, it's gonna be a huge fight later. What better to guard, guard a phylactery than, you know, a dragon? Dragons, the dragon's a nice dragon. Yeah, but this dragon I know is the really good one. The, the bronze one, yes? Yeah. Did you meet him, actually? You might have done. Uh, no, I, and I wasn't there, but I have non-character knowledge of it. Yeah. I was there that session. It was cool. Yeah. It was just through the walls and, hello! <laughs> oh, the big plane. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And maybe I was there. No, no, no. I came upon the... Yeah, no. I was after that. Immediately after that. Oh, you might have been there when they when he busted out Spivey. Not Spivey. Uh, the other thief. B he started with a B, didn't he? Just yeah. Like... Beasel Totem Beasel... Mouth, that's it. Yes, Beasel Totem Mouth. And that was a player character, right? It was a CoDM player character. Mm. And he quit like uh, the session after that. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, he yeah, he he moved all the way across the country, so. Uh, we should probably tell slowly as and the dragon about this whole thing. Yeah. What do you guys think about that? Because I remember I was going to slowly us and, and then he was like, what have you got? And we were like, nothing. But now... Now we do have something. I, yeah. I've actually been thinking, we have, I think we have two paths here. We could go along in the capital and try to garner support trying to fight the Lich King. All right. Expose him for what he truly is so he cannot hide himself in his castle no more. All right. Uh, he regularly makes public appearances. Oh yes, but if there's an angry mob outside, you can't really lose face without you can you can't really lose face with a disintegrate now, can you? No one would believe us anyway. That's but probably true. Uh, we have well, to have well, what was the second option then in that case? Well, we go off and we find we go off and we find Solilius. We get him back and we straight up uh, what, what do you call Oh, regicide. Yes, that's what we're committing. <laughs> we just... We, uh, dragon team one to the castle again. I mean, how are you going to reach Slowlius? Actually... Yeah. Well, we have the spe we have the ace card, which we may do. 
or I have I could make I could pray to Conspicor to the watching lord do you remember the last the, the last time he contacted you and how he did that mm-hmm well, that was wild back Well, it was just before you guys went to the uh, abyss. Mm -hmm. But you guys have been there. I mean, <laughs> in real time, you were only gone for a couple of hours, but you were in there for months. Speaking of which, we have not had that fucking shower. Yeah, you guys have been in town for a day now. Oh, that's right. No, we went to. The... Okay, never mind. My bad. <laughs> and showers don't exist anyway. Uh, well, I mean, <laughs> a bar. Yes. I can. Oh, wait. I don't know. And Phil is mentioning see... going to see Atoll as well. We could see Atoll. That's one of the options. I could. If I pray to Conspicor, it might be a little bit pricey on my part, but I could get maybe an ace, f find him, message him. I mean, I think. Hmm, it really depends. What's the plan then? Come on, decisions. <clears throat> trying to think of a way to talk to him or... I thought there was a priest spell that was like, talk to, and then you can talk to anyone. Maybe it's that might be... Is. There might be dead bodies though. Yeah, let's speak with dead. It's like a level two uh, priest spell. Divination. Level three free spell. Yeah. Speak with who though? Speak with, with Lolius. Oh. Ah. But like a, a, you have to have like their corpse a, though. Yeah, I don't. I don't mean speak with dead. I feel like there's another thing. Oh. There's commune. Yeah, commune. Which is a uh, fifth level spell, I think. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'll do that. And that lets you contact your deity or somebody in a different plane. Right, okay. Um, well, we're going to have to we can't really get to Slolius. I mean, we can talk to Atoll. Atoll lives over here. Yeah. Out, out by an area called the Spire. And Slolius's mansion is not far away from that. I suppose mm -hmm. we can go there. We go to Slolius's mansion and see if there's any clues or anything he left. Hey guys, is anyone willing to uh, allow me a 3,000 gold loan if I feign my uh, treasure for the amount necessary until it's repaid? What? Do you, what? what? 3,000 gold. For uh, what? I'm just going to give you all of my treasure until the debt's repaid. How would you pay the debt if you gave us uh, all of your treasure? From I'm talking about from this point forward as we continue the the journey. I, I just won't take any loot. Then you would never be able to pay the loan back. I'm, I'm no, saying they, what, they can take my saying. share. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we just, just need 3,000 3, gold per permanency and I can cast reduce on the axe and permanize reduce. And we can use the axe at a medium size. Would that work? I mean, it would do reduced damage. That's true. 
Is there a way to just reduce the weight of the object? Maybe well, it's eight. still too big and fumble around. I could do feather fall, and it'd be, it'd be, it, you could float midair from then on. But it's too mm. big. Gotcha. Well, the main thing that I'm interested in is the spell that's attached to it anyway. Mm, well, that's more gold than that. You still would yeah. have the proficiency no. as well. I'm sorry? You still wouldn't have the proficiency as well. Right. So there is that. True enough. We could sell the axe to get some money and I could make magical items. Would anybody be willing to purchase a magical axe of enormous size? <laughs> exactly. They'd have to go to Meriden, or Meridor, and, well, problems. Fair enough. Well, well let's continue the journey. That's where the Lich King is anyway, so we need to go to Meridor anyways. Let's go to Meridor. Yeah. Perhaps we should get slowly as... How? The teleportation! I mean, wh wouldn't there be stuff in his mansion anyway? He found it now. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Meridor, then. Unless we want to speak Do to Meridor. Because Atala doesn't know about this. And he's a big old dragon. See here. He's, um... The... He's, he's the, the other direction. I can show you guys on the map where Atoll lives. He lives over here. It's about the same distance in the opposite direction from Maridor. Hmm. Hmm. What could we do? Go to Meridor. What? Well, I... Are we just gonna you... run in and with no I mean, did, you, did you hear what Rory just said, though, Josh? Uh, no, he wasn't. He wasn't talking just now. Yeah, he was. He was saying that. Um, the party might want to go and visit the dragon instead. Who is in the opposite direction. That's basically the decision here. What are, what are the minuses of having a dragon on our side? Well, we you can't control him. Later. Well, it's not a matter of control. He's going to do us, or going to do, going to help us. He, I think he doesn't like the lich. Just, I think he was like, he would help us with, he said he'd help us with the lich. I think we go there. Okay. I... Unless you can come up with the... something else. All right, let's go. We're All off right. to see the dragon, the wonderful dragon of Meridan. Dragon boss. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Yeah. So you guys just leave right away. Anything you want to do in town before you go? No. No. All right. Uh. How much? Okay, so, um, nah, I, I don't think we should. I don't think we even have time to make magical items. Never mind. Yeah, I, I don't have anything to do. Okay, so you guys start to leave, um, Nuke and Dean, and can you can you guys all make a perception check for me, please? I got a D three, don't I? Four. Oh fuck's sake. Okay, they probably all fails. Uh, I mean, someone passed. <laughs> Part, yeah, I, I, yeah, my ones. Yeah. So um, those of you that passed see this quite sm small, it's only about 50 foot wide storm cloud um, kind of in the, up in the skies. 
and uh, you guys can see like shapes and faces roiling about in it. Um, and it, it looks like a. As you kind of watch it, it it seems unnatural, and it almost seems to take the shape of a giant, like striding, you know, in the in the clouds. Um, and when it it seems, you know, when when you guys exit, it almost seems to look towards you, and then it starts to head away immediately. Um. That could be the genie, the lightning genie. That could be the demon that we threw eggs at. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Phil. What? Uh, I didn't throw eggs at him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that could be the demon we threw eggs at. Like, and, like what the fuck? <laughs> like, why would you do that? There may have been an I, I didn't throw any eggs. We'll be through... Three eggs at a demon through a portal. <laughs> it was a deck of many things, and one of the deck of many things cards says, "You draw the enmity of an extra planar creature." So it would make a portal <laughs> appear in front of them, showing like a, a you know a big demon lord, and then the character would be an egg would appear in the character's hands, and he would be unable to prevent himself from throwing the egg at him. And the, the demon would just see him throw the egg at him. And that would be how he drew the enmity. And that happened three times to the same demon, too. So. <laughs> oh, brutal. Okay. Um, so it's like, it's just like this cloud thing, and it's just running away from us now? Yeah, it kind of, it's kind of like pat almost patrolling through the sky, and it sees you guys, and it immediately starts to head off in a different direction. Like, towards Meridor? Uh, no, just off into, like, the, the wilderness. It's going in the same direction you guys are. Hold on here, let me... Um... So yeah, this is what it looks like. Ah. How fast is it? It seems to be reasonably fast. Um, much well, it's faster than you guys by quite a lot, but it's not, like, super quick. I slept since... Yeah, I should have all my spells back. I guess there's like little little to no time for deliberation. Um, it's going away from us, isn't it? Does it at first glance yeah. does it appear to be an elemental of elemental elemental control? Uh, it certainly could be some sort of ele elemental, yes. For the, for the procedure for you know taking control of an elemental, that would be hitting. Is it, is it just I can make an attempt? Or I have to hit it with the spell magic and make the attempt. Uh, I'm actually not sure. Uh, you wouldn't be close enough anyway. It's very far away. It's up in the way up in the sky. It's like uh, hundreds of feet away. Ah. I suppose then there's nothing I can do from the ground. All right, anyway, I'm assuming you guys just continue to head on. Um, and before long, you know, the, the big living storm thing is, is far out of sight. You can't, you can't see it yes. anymore. I don't know if you guys want to organize yourselves into um, marching order here. Yeah. Oh, by the way, Hell School, uh, touch himself and his, stone, his skin will turn to, uh, hot, turn to stone. Okay, good. Yeah. So he's just not going to get hit anymore. Alright, is that the marching order people are happy with, or...? Yeah, that's fine. Um, 
do fear, horror, and madness checks work like a saving throw where you have to roll higher than the number, or is it a check yes. where you roll lower? Okay. Yeah, they're just saving throws, basically. Okay. And uh, if you role play them, then you don't have to make it. Oh. It's a Ravenloft rule that forces people to you know, actually interact with things instead of being disconnected and... Mm. Because when a lot of people see, you know, their characters see a horrifying thing, they just kind of don't react to it. All right. Um, so you guys kind of head down this long rural path, and it's sort of starting to get sort of afternoonish. You guys have, you know, had your lunch or whatever. You just had it. And um, you're continuing to head down the road, and you come to this kind of cliff-like area here alongside the path. I don't know if I just like so. Uh, yeah, and the, the party kind of starts to, you know, head head along along down the road by one of the, by this kind of sheer cliff to the left of them. It's not particularly uncommon, although this cliff is maybe a little bit more sheer than what you would normally expect. Uh, and uh, as you're kind of he heading down the road, you see um, this creature kind of peel itself from the wall um, and it looks very familiar you've seen a similar thing just the other day uh, it's like a big dirt um, humanoid looking creature and it's got you know gravestones and bones and stuff all in it it's clearly a grave elemental and it seems to step out into the path to kind of block further travel down I guess I'd check behind me, see if anyone's sneaking up on us. Uh, there doesn't seem to be anything behind you now. And the trees and stuff. Uh, yeah, do you want to make a perception check? I will make three. Okay. One of them's probably a pass. I think that 11 is probably a part. No, no, the 5 is probably a part. Yeah. Um, yeah, out in the woods, uh, you can definitely make out some, faintly sort of make out some skeletons hanging out there with spears that seem to be waiting. Okay. Don't know where they are? I mean, you can see them here. I've uh, revealed them. Oh. Okay. They're kind of creeping up carefully through the woods. I'm thinking we need to bundle them all up, and then I can use turn on dead on all of them, or them in a yep. in a big pile. Uh. Oh, look! Can a Wexel disappear and fly over this way? Pretty high up. Uh yeah, yeah. See what's inside the canyon. Uh, it's it's just like a higher up cliff area. Hold on. Ah. Yeah, up on the cliff, kind of hanging out of sight, there are these uh, skeletal archers waiting. Oh boy. It's like, ah, bad shit, guys. How much would um, an archer's range be increased by the height? Like, how far can they shoot from there? I mean, it would help. I mean, the the aid that they get is they basically get a plus one elevation. Okay. Uh, elevation. That's, and that would mitigate range penalties. I suppose they'd be able to shoot... 
I don't know. The, the math for it would be annoying to work out. <laughs> I'm just How wondering. How high is the cliff? The cliff is about 40 foot high. So it's quite a tall cliff. I was just wondering if, if we got far enough away from the cliff, they would be able to shoot at us, like, distance-wise. But I, guess... I mean, yeah. They would have pretty decent range. And um, whilst you guys are kind of, you know, inspecting the area, uh, another one of those um, elementals peels itself out of the wall behind you, also uh, blocking your exit now. And it kind of seems like the, uh, the elementals and the skeletons in the forest are creeping up, um, kind of enclosing the party. I think we need to gang up on that one behind us and kill it as quick as we can. I can attempt to try- I can try to take one for my own. What's the point in that? Why don't we just all attack it? Well, n no, no. I could take one of them and make it ours. Oh, right. Okay. How long would that take? Um... Shouldn't be too hard. It may try to murder me after I'm done. So there's that, but I can keep it from taking us all out. So, how, how long is the range of the elemental control? I can attempt. Uh, you have to dispel magic it. Um, yeah, you have to dispel magic specifically at the magical control over the creature. Um, then if that's successful, um, roll a d20 by the person attempting the spell. Wait. A roll of 20 by the person attempting the spell means that all control has been dispelled and the creature's now free-willed. If you, yeah, if it passes, you gain control of it. Um. All right. If the dispel magic fails, the elemental will be immediately strengthens to its maximum eight hit points per die, and the conjurer's ability to control the elemental will be greatly enhanced, making any new attempts to steal control of the creature impossible. Also, hmm. the so elemental will recognize the person who sought to take control of its will as a threat. Well, as far as our chances go, I think we have a better chance going back the way we came. And yeah allowing them uh, to come at us in one direction, so... Should I, should I attempt control of the elemental? No. How, f how fast are these elementals, would you say? It's a large creature, I guess. They're not fast. Not <laughs> They're fast. Slow. So, dangerous. so I'd like to like run past it and up to the north. And uh, well, let's let's uh, roll for combat. Okay. <clears throat> I'm just going to do some tests real quick. I just wrote you a macro. Oh. Yeah.
Uh, does anybody need multiple actions or? I suppose uh, I only need three. I can't even see the turn order. Or no, you, not... you might have to refresh. I've got it up. Okay, hang on. Uh, I don't think I actually need to. All my attacks go off simultaneously. Yeah. I need. I need two. I uh, need another two. Oh. I'm pretty much always going to need two, whether I'm using longbow or swords. All the swords, yeah. I just need to roll... Savvy, Poe, Fuffy. Yeah, uh, it's it's like three I rolled a uh, roll twelve. Oh, I think I'm gonna have to close my browser. Hang on, ah. I'm sorry. It was like stuck at loading zero. There we go. Still having issues, Nathan? Yeah, I'm I'm rolling now. Sorry. All right. Okay. Well, what do you expect House section is going to be then, uh, Anne, since it looks like he's probably first? Um. Well, we may run from this fight, so he's probably going to run through the middle of the pack to get to that grave elemental to stab it a few times. Right. Okay. Okay, I'm done. <clears throat> All right. Yep. So House goes first. House using his super movement speed, going to run all the way to the Grave Elemental and make his attacks. Yeah. Uh, those are both hits. All right. Um, so fifty points of damage. Yep. Uh, and so, it's a crit, so... What? So seven, uh, 16s or higher, I get crits. Yeah. So that'll do 55 points of damage. As Hell leaps into the air, stabs the thing in the head twice. All right. Break yeah, it seems to claws. do a fair number on that elemental, but um, still seems to be standing. Uh, Alexel? Um, I guess Oexel will just disappear, as he does, and will kind of fly off this way, in the efforts of not getting shot, because we've all had that experience, we don't want to repeat it. <laughs> uh, Hordron? Get him good, Hordron. He's gonna run, and he's gonna hop behind it. We ha. We ha. <laughs> <laughs> Does it count as evil or extra plain? A plain. Uh, you know? No. I see. If one is no good, bounce off the the tough kind of 
Come. rocky. There's like a tombstone there or something. It bounces off. Um, the grave elemental uh, turns to Hordron and um, begins to kind of hold his hands out, concentrating on him. Uh, uh, yeah, okay. And Hordron begins to sink into the earth. Um, ah. So he, he sinks into the stone, like up to his ankles this round. Uh, Phil. Wait, is the is the stone like liquefied or is it still solid? Like he's stuck in the stone. Up to, Phil up runs to his, back. Up to his yeah. knees, I should say. Sorry. I guess go for back attacks. Yep. Uh, neg six is indeed a hit. Yay! So go ahead and roll for damage. Large, right? Yep. Okay, so four damage is enough to cause the, the elemental to crumble to the ground into pieces. Um, kind of dead on the ground. Uh, Zavi? I'm gonna just run past these guys. Oops, wrong one. Uh, even with the death of um, the elemental, Hordron is still stuck in the stone, by the way. Is he uh, still, like, sinking or not? Uh, he's not sinking anymore, but he is, he is still up to his knees. I would, I don't know, I would use a blunt weapon if I had it to, like, try to break the stone, but uh, I'm just going <laughs> to run past for now. I don't know, what, what's the farthest I can run? The f 120 feet is as far as you can go. So about right there. Mm -hmm. uh, Spivey? Uh, Spivey is going to uh, look around for cover or concealment to break the line of sight. Yep. Yeah. Um, I mean, I guess you could try and hide behind other party members, but yeah, I don't know. You're sort of, it's sort of not possible to break line of sight because there's enemies all around you. Um, you could try and duck behind this big tree here, I suppose. Okay, um, that's what I'll do. Yeah, and hide there, hide in shadows there. <clears throat> yep. And move silently as well, or? Uh, you... yeah. You have those new boots too, don't forget. That's right. Su super speed boots. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, fluffy. Oh, he's just going to move up next to Zavi. Mm -hmm. uh, and? Hmm. The, the sinking seems to... Hmm. Well, I guess... What could Anne do? She's not packing types of spells. Hmm. Anne will just disappear this round. Uh, okay. By, by what means? Invisibility, if that helps at all. The spell? Yes. Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, Poe? Uh, Poe is going to fly up next to Fluffy and Zavi. But he's going to fly high in the air above Zavi. Okay. Um, what, 20, 20 feet? I've already got him marked as being 20 feet up in the air. Um, um as high as the cliff, I guess, so that I can... 40 feet. Okay. Yeah, so that I can, like, watch these skeleton guys. I guess, or I guess these skeleton guys. Let me know when they get close, bird. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 
yeah, the, and the spear skeleton starts to creep up on the rest of the party. Yeah, so uh, these skeletons again seem especially more nimble than their, their counterparts, and then um, these start to rush up to, to Halsk and um, and Phil, and also to Drawl. Uh, they run straight past Anne and Spivey. Uh, so only a few of them are actually in range to attack anything, so... Uh, two attacks are being leveled at house. I... Uh, both miss. Oh. And then uh, one at Phil. And then that misses. And two at Droll, which also both miss. Um, now these bone archers that that uh, Awexel kind of made you guys the point out to you guys start to peek over the cliff here, um, and now you, now they're kind of peeking over the cliff, you can see them a little bit more clearly, and uh, they they look like you know your normal skeletons with um, you know just you know a standard skeleton, but they're armed with bows, and these bows are made of bone as well, and they have mm. arrows of bone and. Like the bow, like the bow, even the bow string sort of looks like human sinew. Um, and they start to draw back their arrows and they aim down at the party here. So these two are going to fire their um, their shots at Phil and Housk, and then the other four are going to fire at DeWall, Peregrine, and Gregory. So each of them gets one shot per round. Um. These two at the top miss Phil and Hausk. Um, Doral gets crit. Ooh. And uh, despite his immunity to magic, the arrow still strikes him for six points of damage. And the other three arrows all also miss. Okay. Um... These first two arrows that were shot up here, um, they almost seem to like sprout into the ground. And um, you can see the bones that have like, the sharpened bone arrows that have landed in the ground. They grow up into, f into full skeletons where they, where they missed. Mm. Uh, adding to the numbers. Uh, Dural. Okay, uh, Draw is going to take a swing with his mace at this one. Yep. That's a hit. Are they medium Go ahead creatures? And open it. Yeah, yeah, the medium. Yeah, that's enough to smash that one out, right? Okay, and then I'm gonna stab this one with my dagger. Plus yep. one. With speed of zero. Yeah, also a hit. Okay, so again, because it's a dagger, the damage is reduced on the skeleton. Yeah. But uh, it still hits it for a decent amount. Uh, Peregrine Man Gregory. They are going to turn around and charge into this skeleton here. Yep. I'm assuming it's facing Phil, right? Hello? Um, uh, yes. Yeah, they're facing Phil. That's a hit. Uh, that's enough to kill that skeleton? As it comes um... to pieces as he stabs it in the back? 
I guess they're going to turn and Gregory will try to bite this one. Yep. That's a hit. What's his damage? It actually, it'd actually be plus five, because plus two for back attack, plus three for his normal. I would think it's a side, but... Uh, actually, yeah, I guess, yeah. Is his damage a d4? d4 plus one. You bite that skeleton for four. Uh, this grave elemental here starts to step up the pathway, and um, it points. It's kind of it. Yeah, it levels its hands there over at uh, Dural, who um, also begins to sink into the earth now, uh, down down to his knees. Uh, Phil, your final attack. He's going to punch the skeleton that Gregory bit. Yep. Wow. Uh, that's no good. And initiatives again, please. Has everybody done initiative, or? I have, yes. Yep. Okay. Uh, Peregrine first. Uh, I guess him and Gregory are going to attack again. Mm-hmm. Uh, no oh, good. Okay. Uh, that is a hit. Go ahead and roll for damage. Okay, uh, two points is not enough to kill this. Uh, it is nearly dead though. Uh, Phil. He's gonna use turn undead in, I guess, this direction. Yeah, so, do you want to go ahead and roll it then? So d20. Actually, I believe at your level, you might just instantly turn skeletons. Oh, I don't know. Although, these are different. Let me see. What did you roll? Seven. Okay, roll 2d4 to see how many are turned. That was barely a pass, by the way. <laughs> Six. Okay. So these it goes from closest to furthest. So these three closest to you, two, three, these four closest to you are all turned. And then um this one right the by Archer, does that Hmm? Would it do the archer or not? Uh no. No, they they would not be turned. You didn't roll well enough to turn them. Um I don't think it helps that they're 40 feet in the air. 
Yeah, mm. they're further away too. Yeah, so these six closest to you are all turned, and they just stand still, suddenly stop doing anything. Um, Zavi. Uh, I'm going to fire an arrow up at the archers uh, and uh, do lightning bolt. <clears throat> mm-hmm. You know, kind of in a straight line enough to hit all of them. Yeah. Okay, um, only one of them fails their save. So this one here is um, kind of burned to a crisp by the lightning bolt, and the body actually falls down to the ground down here, but the rest of these are just um, badly injured. Halsk. Um, I guess Halsk will, as being a specialty round. Uh, the, these ones, in, these ones in front of them are fleeing, right? Yeah, yeah. Those those ones all around you, yeah, are fleeing. They won't attack you if you move. Right, so he's gonna right. kind of do like a flip of the spear and like stab it under his arm to hit the skeleton the side of him. That one's turned too. Oh, oh all those ones right by you are all turned. All this for okay. So I guess how school like jump? No, no. How school go to Dural's rescue? Mm -hmm. So we get right here, and he's gonna try and pull Dural out. So <laughs> like stand stand far enough away, and like give him like hand him the end of his spear. Okay. I mean, I'm I'm still not understanding. Is the ground solid around their feet, or is it like quicksand? It's like they've sunk into the ground and it's hardened around their legs. But so like, they it makes the, it. it makes the target a higher density than the ground they're standing on. It makes them sink into it. So it is like quicksand for that one person. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, yeah, I mean, is Daryl going to try and pull himself out um, using House Spear, or...? Um, uh, no, he's going to keep fighting. Okay. Uh, I feel you're still turning. Uh, the archers again are going to fire upon the party. Uh, four of them miss, but one of them crits Dural again. And he takes three points of damage. Uh, the other four arrows kind of fall to the ground um, amongst Halsk and Dural. And uh, two of them kind of sprout in the ground again, and two more skeletons pop up from the from the bones as they land in the ground. Spivey. Okay, um, Spivey's going to move silently and hide in shadows, uh, using his boots to come over here. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, climb this wall. Uh, okay, it's f it's going to be four climb checks, because it's 40 feet up. Okay. Uh, you, can, you, can only, you can only climb 10 feet per round, so... Okay. Uh... 
Is there any part of the cliff that's lower, like over here next to me? Uh, no, not really. It's all at least 40 feet up. Okay. Okay, uh, Fluffy? Um, I will have him run in and uh, try to take down... Who, who's not turned? Just I'll have him attack whichever one's closest and not running away. Or yeah, I'll mark whatever. the ones that are turned. So, I mean, the closest one that's not turned is this one here. Which he would be able to run over and attack. I'm sorry? Which he would be able to run over and attack, yeah. What's the right. symbol uh, for turn? Um, it's just the, the skull and crossbones. <clears throat> oh. So, so Fluff is just going to uh, uh, attack and try to take down? Yep. Uh, what, what would be the, the role? I'd just do the hit and then... Okay, hang on a second. I'm assuming 11 is not uh, yeah. That's no good, that's no good. Yeah. Um, skeletons around. Um, yeah, all the turn skeletons are going to uh, run away as far as they can. Uh, and, oh, and then, sorry, the normal skeletons too. Uh, yeah. So these, this one here is going to try to attack Doral. This one's going to come up here and attack Halsk. That one's mm. going to attack Fluffy. That one's going to attack Doral as well. <laughs> like, does it, like, bump into me? Uh, I guess, yeah, it, it, it kind of bumps into you, but it, it's a skeleton, so it doesn't even realize. <laughs> awesome. It's going to come here. I'm going to move this dead one out of the way. Uh, yeah, another one, I guess, uh, does the same. Yeah, looks about right. So, three attacks against Fluffy. One of which is a hit. Yay! Uh, so, Fluffy takes six points of damage. Um, then there's one on House. Which misses, and there are four on Daral. And Daral is not hit any times. And is your action? I, I could have two actions here. All right. Do I know if grave? Do I know if elementals are affected by polymorph? Uh, I mean, everything is affected by polymorph, really. So, yes, they are affected. All right, all right. I suppose you wouldn't know for sure. Okay. Yeah, I suppose you wouldn't know for sure, but the theory states that, yes, that would indeed work. So that'd be 15 feet of level. All right, so I think I am. Yeah, I, I have a hundred and feet range, and this is a hundred and five feet, so I'm barely within it. Uh, yeah, sure. All right, I'm gonna cast Polymorph Other and try okay. to. I'm gonna try to turn the Grave Elemental 
It has to be into another animal, right? Uh, it has to be another form that exists. Yes, yes. I will turn it into a form of a cat. Yep. Okay. We're going to the cat here. Let me check this. I guess it's, yeah, I guess it's saving throw. Um... You should have given it something with less weapons. <laughs> well, so, uh, it is a cat, so, I mean, yeah. Have you ever been scratched by a cat? Shit, I know, I know, the worst. I know wizards get killed by cats on the base on just daily. It's awesome. <laughs> Yeah, so <laughs> actually the, turned into a cat. It's say, it feels the same it's though, and the grave elemental suddenly turns into a cat, and it seems quite confused. <laughs> does the magic affecting Dural stop? It does not. Uh, he doesn't continue to sink, but he is still knees deep in the ah, rock. All right. Uh, well, Poe. We're gonna have Poe attack one of the archers, the closest one. Mm-hmm. Well, shit. Yeah, make it. Oexel? Oexel will turn around, do a high, like a high speed banking maneuver. Alright. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's gonna sail the, you know, the stock markets, banking maneuvers. Alright. As so he makes his way back over to the bone archers. Alright. And he's going to fly into this tree over here to get cover. And they go, quick scope, motherfucker! As he lets loose with his wand of sniping. Yeah. Uh, who's he aiming at here? At this bone archer right here. Yeah. What appears to be the lowest health, health one. With both bolts, or he's just using one? With, with both bolts. Yep. Yeah, so the, uh, the two bolts are enough to finish off the archer. The snipe! To the ground in pieces. Uh, or drum. Alright, I'm back. I guess he's trying to escape from the stone. Try to smash it. I don't know. Uh, yeah, let me just... Uh, yeah, you're unable to know. You're unable to break the stone around you at all. Um, but you're not continuing to sink or anything. You're just stuck. Um, Durol. Um, did I miss my Spivey turn? Uh, no. No, no, no. Okay. Alright, uh, so Durol is going to take a swing at this one. Yep. Uh, actually, make that um, this one next to Anne. Yep. Yeah, that's a hit. Roll the damage. What does that do? Uh, you get 12 points of damage is enough to instantly finish off uh, that one right in front of you. Okay, and then I'm going to stab this one with a dead... Wait, is that one injured? Okay. Uh, none of them are injured around you. Okay. No. Alright, I'm just going to stab that one with my dagger then. Yep. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> no good. 
Uh, the cat just kind of looks around a little confused. Uh, <laughs> meows, and then scampers away. Just runs away from the scary fighting. Alright. Uh, I want to keep track of the cat eventually. Maybe can track it down. Uh, is that the Grave Elemental Cat? You could use Alexel right now. I use the spell. Oh yeah, Alexel. Alright, oh, right, Alexel will go saying. after it. Uh, he can't now. He's already done his, his turn. Uh, Next go. Phil, you're still turning, right? So. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Initiatives again, please. Hey, uh, Oscar, can you get me a character sheet for uh, Fluffy at some point so that I can make a uh, macro for her? Oh, do you not, do you not have one? Uh, yeah, no, I could do that. I thought Thank you had you. one for some reason. Yeah. I don't have Gregory's either. But... Yeah, um, I mean, you can just do it as part of another character's action, like. Hmm. All right, so we did an initiative. Uh, one second. I have. But yeah, the, the only reason I was saying that is because um, unless I have the character sheet, I can't expose the macro on the token. You know what I mean? Oh, I see. Yeah. Uh, Halsk? Yes, so Halsk will just... Yeah, he'll just stab the two in front of him. The one right here, and the one right here. Or actually, um, actually, he'll get the one right here, and right here. Spivey yeah. can... Those two. <coughs> Yep, so that's enough to kill both of those skeletons. Kind of crumble to the ground. Uh, in pieces. Oh, and you didn't get your... Oh, oh, actually, no. um, I was trying to pull them out so I didn't get the extra attack. Yeah. Uh, Hordron is still stuck. Alexel. Alexel is very nervous about going after a cat. Could he do it? <laughs> Fucking cats take out wizards all the time. I mean, what you mean actually attack it? No, 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 no like subdue it. He can try. Having, a cat, having a cat that you could. Hoxel has like some stuff on him. I don't even know why you want a cat. Oh no, no, no! no. It's it's not the cat. It's the it's it's the cat bomb. See, not, people, people would never expect it when you throw a cat into the air, hit it with the spell magic, and a grave elemental falls on them. No, you can't dispel a ponymorph. Um, I, I think ponymorph you can, yeah. is permanent, I believe. Oh, well, then it's just a fucking. No, never mind then. Yeah, I'm pretty sure literally... you can polymorph them. I think you can dispel maybe, it. Maybe, I think but... the caster can. Yeah, the caster can yeah. dispel it. 
Yeah. But at the uh, same time, I don't know if that would be to your advantage. <laughs> it would be, though. Because if we need a distraction, like we have to run from someone, boom, angry grave elemental. And who may or say, may not. Who's to say this cat's even going to let you do it because it's fucking feral as fuck? I don't know that. I'm... Let me look some stuff. Uh, all right. Uh, Oexa will fly towards the cat, like over it. And, he'll let, and as he's flying by, he'll let loose a, a bolt of magic missiles at the uh, archer skeletons. Okay, uh, which one? Uh, at this one right here as he's flying by. Yep. Okay, yeah, that's enough to kill that skeleton. Haha, <laughs> sniped! By uh, Fluffy. Uh, Fluffy's gonna try to attack the one closest to him. Um... Is, is that a hit? That is a hit. Five damage. Yep, he bites it for five. Um, can can I take it down or no? I don't know. I believe a takedown is on a 18 or higher, right? Okay. You rolled a 17. You rolled a 19. Uh, oh, sorry, he did roll a 19. Yeah, that, that's his... Uh... Yeah, okay, yeah, so the skeleton is dragged to the ground, yeah. Hooray! He's now prone. Uh, and then yeah, the the skeletons turn. So um, these ones around the party here are going to stab. Um, so one attack at Fluffy, and then three attacks at Daral. Uh, yeah. And they all miss. Savvy. I'm going to fire at the um, the bone archer. That's next to Poe. Uh, yeah, you'll be firing into melee, though. Wait, what? You'll be firing into melee because Poe is firing it. Oh, okay. So you need to take a full penalty if you don't want to um, hit him. Okay. Uh, no good, that's a miss. Uh, Phil, still turning, or...? Uh, yeah, I suppose he is. Okay, uh, the bone archers then. Um, so this one that's in front of Poe uh, kind of starts swinging its bow around, kind of like a club to smack Poe. But it doesn't, uh, it does not succeed. And then these two archers here are gonna shoot at, um, Housk. Both of them shoot can shoot a house. Uh, but they both miss. And uh, nothing happens with the arrows this time. And. Uh, the skeletons are entirely focused on Dural, right? Yeah, they can't even see you. Ah, okay. Well, I mean, I, I have polymorph someone, so. Is that an attack? Or. Oh, I suppose, yeah, you are visible now. Yeah, I, I was yeah. visible now. Yeah, no, they, they were attacking him already, in any case. Um... Wait, did you just roll s s s a d what? Yeah, I don't know what those rolls are. It's like Christmas, though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess Anne will let loose a magic missile. Yeah. So she opens her arms and bolts fly out. Yeah, what are the targets? I'll go... One at Poe's target, and 
three at this one. So here's the one for pose. Yep. Okay, four is not quite enough to finish it off. Ah. And a three at the far three at the farthest one. Yeah, I mean you can assign them one by one, you don't have to decide them all as the spell is cast. Ah. So you can now opt to shoot a second one on that first one that didn't die. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I guess I'll do that and I'll kill that one. Yep. And then the then the two have to go here, even if they do not or do not kill, so I'll just nine damage on this one right here. Yep. That's enough to finish that one off. There's only one bone archer left. Uh, Poe. I'm going to have Poe attack the one that's left. Yep. That's a hit. Hooray. Uh, Go ahead and roll for damage. Okay, uh, two damage is enough to finish that skeleton off as well. Uh, kind of falls to the ground dead. And as it falls to the ground, all of the other normal skeletons uh, fall to the ground as well. Ah, hooray! Um, and that is the end of combat. Uh, I'd like to check the bone archer uh, that's on the ground to see if he has, like, his bow is special in any way, or, or yeah. his ammo. Uh, and after a couple rounds, um, Daryl and Hordra and find themselves able to free themselves from the ground. Um, the bone archer has a bone made it a bow made of human bones and sinew. Uh, it's a long bow, and it has um, nineteen bone arrows. They're kind of made of like sharpened human bones. I hear house for five. Thank you. I suppose Halska's getting like a little the... bit miffed that he has to go chase after a goddamn cat now. <laughs> I'd like to take the the bow the and arrows. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> Can a Wexel stop the cat like land in front of the cat and like, kind of scare it away from the tree line back towards the rest of the party? Um, <clears throat> yeah, sure. sure. <laughs> I mean, he could just turn down and turn into a giant scorpion, right? So yeah, exactly. Do it. He'll chase it. <laughs> Halsk will like, run over and catch it. And they'll be like, really pissed because, you know, fucking we're not, chasing, we're not here for chasing cats, I am. <laughs> not here just to, just to chase pussy. <laughs> yeah. So I guess. So I guess now that he has the cat, Anne will like take some like some some of her string. Does she, she have string? I think she would have some string. Uh yeah, or some thread or something. Yeah, she yeah. Take some she'll... human sinew from the bow. That might destroy it though. That, <laughs> that bow is very useful now. So I guess Anne will. Is the cat completely feral? Uh, you turn well. You turned it into a cat, right? You. What did you pick? A feral cat? No, I probably picked a domestic cat. Yeah, then no, it's not particularly feral. Oh, right. you can you can you can choose their personality type. Well, there's well, different. The domestic cats have uh, genetic predispositions towards niceness. They're different. Yeah, they're different species, basically. Well, no, no, I just meant like. I mean, even house cats can be feral. You know what I mean? Yeah, but oh, a wild mean, but cat a... is completely different from a domestic cat. Yeah, they're just they're a different breed, really. Really? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna argue it. But... Like a lion and a house cat. Well, a, a cat yeah. that's a cat, whether it's a house cat or or a, a lion, if it's born outside, is gonna be feral. Is what yeah, I'm a saying. domestic cat is always gonna be less. Yeah. aggressive towards humans than a wild species. It's the same difference between wolves and dogs. 
I would convenient. beg to differ. <laughs> no, that's genetically correct. That's a fact. That's not. You can't dispute that. That is that we actually know that's the case. You wolves and dogs are exactly the same species, but because of the um, traits that have been bred into them, dogs yeah. are far more friendly to humans. Even stray dogs are more friendlier to humans than wolves that's, are. That's what I'm saying. Like a, a stray cat is not necessarily going to be friendly, though. That's true. But it is a domestic cat, so it's not. Yeah. Domestic meaning that it was. So it may be a little bit strange to me at first, but I'll, I'll get I'll get gravy to warm up to me. The only reason I say that is because I've actually tried to save a stray cat before, and they just do not warm up. Like I have I have scars on my arm still from when uh, the cat like tried to attack me, like because I tried to pick it up. You know, you know what I mean? That's what yeah, I'm saying. Uh, so, yeah, no, I mean, they can still be nasty, but you know. Uh, this one doesn't seem to be particularly nasty. It's very confused how it lived hundreds of years as an elemental and now suddenly is a cat. It's a cat. Uh, and it's not really sure what's going on. <laughs> so I guess Anne will like pick him up and like pet his head. Now she has another friend. Who's <laughs> a cat? It's just a regular cat. <laughs> it's just a regular cat. Yeah. Well, it, for all you guys know. I mean, it is, it is just a cat. For all intents and purposes, it is a cat now. Until dispelled. Yeah. And in which case, we have some... Yeah. I feel like it's going to be very confused uh, once you dispel magic, because it's going to think that it's a cat as an elemental. No, because its mind will revert. Its personality will go back to being that of an, a grave elemental. Yes. Uh, Wouldn't it, it, have will a... have had, it will have lived as a cat for some time, which might confuse it. Yeah. yeah. But the, what do you call it? The magic that the lich used to control this is probably gone. I don't. I don't know. It probably because you can't really elemental control a cat, so I guess the spell would fail. So it's a free willed one now. I don't know. We'll have to. We'll have to see. Ultimately, it just turns into a cat and and thinks like a cat, though. Is what I was saying. Yeah. For yeah. Right now, but then afterwards, when you dispel the thing, is either. You know, a trap or as a get away for, a get out of jail card. You I know. mean, it could just die when you try to turn it back. It could just die, that is true. And we'd have a dead cat. There'd be a dead there'd be a we, dead cat on the that, ground, and that would be very it wouldn't, sad. Be that, it wouldn't even be that useful, it'd just be a pile of dirt. That's true. But the magic item was in that we'd get if there was if there is one. <laughs> Guys, watch as I turn this cat into a pile of dirt. <laughs> Best magician ever. <laughs> so useful. <laughs> you guys need some soil for planting? <laughs> I've, I've got that. Turns Perfectly like... c c catarized. Oh, uh, I can... There's a pun in there somewhere. There's a cat It's uh, absolutely pothicked. <laughs> Perfect ways of getting soil. So, can we identify if there's anything special about these uh, bone arrows and uh, Is bone it... bow? Like, I, I know for 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 them, they were able to shoot a couple, and it turned into the skeletons. But I don't know if it was just those specific arrows. Does there seem to be anything special about these? I mean, it's a bow made of human bone and human sinew. Is it just that, though? Like, it doesn't have any magical properties, is what I'm asking. I mean, you're going to have to ask somebody in the party that can tell you that to do that. So, I guess Halsk has just finished hunting down the cat, right? So, Halsk, uh, do these look special to you? Or is it just bones? So, uh, Halsk could tell you that they are radiating strong and necromantic magic. Both. Both of them are. Is that considered evil? Like necromancy? Not all necromancy is evil, no, but a lot of it is. Yeah, I was just wondering. I'm not going to get into the specifics of that. <laughs> Read the complete necromancer's handbook if you want to know the, the specifics I just meant, on that. I just meant because I'm chaotic good, would I be able to use it without any, um, I guess... I mean, creating undead is considered an evil act. Gotcha. 
but you can get, I mean, good characters still commit evil acts occasionally, it's not. I got you. Be a good. Oh, you should probably um, you shoot an arrow at the ground and see if you can control command the skeletons. Be good during combat to know if you can, you know, shooting if, shooting near an ally or not. Because I even even if I can't control them, it would be a good distraction, right? Oh yes, but you know, it's a difference between a good item and a great item. Fair enough. I don't want to waste it here. It's just it's just one. Oh, I got 19. <laughs> that, bow, that bow can only fire one arrow per round as well. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. You can fire twice per round with it. So you should, I guess you should try it. I don't know. Do as you win. Uh, better, not, better not stab me in the back in the middle of a combat, though. I'm going <laughs> to go for that. I just won't fire it next to anyone. <laughs> it won't take the chance. <laughs> Uh, did the bone elemental, uh, the grave elemental, have anything special in it? Uh, it did not seem to have anything special in it. No. It just kind of fell apart. I kind of look at the. Uh, I oh kind no, of look sorry, at no, the... There's a, no, there's a, there's a shield amongst the rubble. A small uh, uh, shield that uh, seems to be of some magical quality. Nice. Um. Do you have to have a proficiency to use a shield? You can't shoot a bow with it, and you can only use one uh, hand, so... Yeah, I, I was, was going to say to use it with my uh, Alephine Longsword. But no, you don't, need, you don't need a proficiency, no. I'll take the shield and equip it in my offhand. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you can't wear. Yeah, you can't shoot your bow with the shield yeah. in one hand. Yeah, I'll just use the long sword. In those it means you have to take a means you have to take two rounds. One, one to drop your shield, and then second to take out your bow before you can even start firing. It might, it I, might be good I mean, for you, you, you could, most of you, you could most do of the that time, in one round, but you'd have to drop the shield on the ground and just leave it there. Most of the time, the bow's pretty useless against most creatures anyway, uh, if they have any type of m magic defense, like you need a plus two That's uh, not weapon. common. That's not common. Oh, okay. That's only because you guys were in the abyss. <laughs> gotcha. Well, uh, I mean, depending on what combat we're going into, you know, I'll either choose to use the bow at the beginning or the sword, so it's fine. You can't use two swords with the shield either. You can only use one. Yeah. I know. I'm going to be using the Alephine longsword with the shield. Not the plus one longsword. Right. Okay. I think, doesn't Dracus? No, he doesn't. He uses two weapons as well. Okay. I mean, it only gives you a plus one to your uh, AC. Gotcha. Yeah, so what's the... Anything um, else you guys want to pick over here, or are you... How do I get a weapon proficiency? Uh, you get one every three levels as a priest. Uh, you can also pay somebody to train you in the use of that weapon, but that takes like about a month. Okay. Shouldn't I have uh, two extra ones on level six, then? Oh, um, wait, um, let me check actually how, how often. How many weapon proficiencies have you used so far? I have three. Three. Uh, 
Uh, you get one every four levels as a priest, sorry. You start with two, so yeah, you should only have three. Next, okay. next one will be a level eight. So what should I call the cat, guys? We can we can vote as a group. I'm voting for gravy. <laughs> Did you get a new uh, familiar or something? No, no, it's just a cat that was... It's not a cat anymore. Or it was a elemental. It's not an elemental anymore. It's now a cat. Mm. And if stuff gets down to it, we're going to throw the cat at the enemies. I think gravy's good, because we all know what it means. Yeah. And then no one else... <laughs> oh, gra gravy, because he's brown! Oh, that's cute. Like the turkey, yeah. But he's actually a gravy elemental. Ooh. Yeah. Super original and best wizard 2016. Yeah, you gonna go with gravy? We're gonna you go with gravy. Him, you can call like, him Ellie. Yeah, I guess Ellie. House, Ellie? We could do Ellie. So we have Ellie or gravy. I like gravy. I like gravy too. It's a good name though, yeah, but gravy, gravy sounds good. So I guess. I like. Okay, gravy. so. House will take his spear, like right? Though. And he'll take a silver coin. And he'll just kind of like do you know the, you make a fire and you like do the you like rub the spear back and forth. Or you, you take the cross stick. The tomb raider. Yeah, yeah, you take the stick. He will um and he'll do that to the silver coin, and on the silver coin he's gonna write with his spear gravy, and we're gonna pin that to like a around the thread of gravy's collar. Because okay. we're, we're original here. Sure. And you always call her your pets. It's like, I, sure. I don't like him. Fluff, <laughs> Fluffy looks jealous. <laughs> I, I don't like this new pretender. It's very moldy. New <laughs> pretender. I mean, but only pretender. <laughs> You're quite the suspicious bird, you know. <laughs> Buy me more jewelry. <laughs> So, um, hmm. Uh, off to, uh... Dragon! Off. Yeah, off to the dragon, then. <laughs> Alright, so you guys continue on down the road, and, um, night comes about. Uh, uh, is there anything you guys want to do while you're setting up camp, or...? Camouflage. Uh, Spivey will um, set man traps around the camp. Okay, yeah. Does he have man traps? Yeah, he's a thief and he has uh, set snares, so he should be able to make. But does he uh, have the man traps? Uh, oh, you're talking about like, do I have crossbows and rope and stuff like that? That's a good point. I don't actually have crossbows and rope, so no, I can't really. Oh, but I can punji make sticks. things like punji you traps. Can make it yeah, you can make traps. dead fools, yeah, as well. I'll make, I'll make punji traps. Okay, yeah. So those are man traps. Yeah. Complete with uh, sp smeared shit and all that. <laughs> yeah. Are you gonna, are you gonna deal Dan with that Green. once you're gone, or are you just gonna leave it there <laughs> for someone else to deal with? <clears throat> um, I'll, I'll kick over the, uh... The punji sticks once we leave, but other than that, no, I'll just leave the pits. Nice. Yeah. I like how you just shit on these sticks. <laughs> and we were here. We were here for the whole thing. Ever is it really? Okay. Um, well, the night is actually uneventful, and a day rolls around. And uh, you guys are one day away from uh, reaching your destination. Oh, you guys want to do before you're leaving? Ex except that um, whatever it is that I cover the pits with, once we leave, mm -hmm. I will I will remove the camouflage cover so that you can see that there's a deadfall. 
But right. I'm not going to backfill yeah, yeah, the yeah. deadfall. No, fuck that. I wouldn't do that in real life. <laughs> Why? No. Have you, have you made punji traps in real life then? I would totally make punji traps in real life if I knew someone was following me or, you know, someone was trying to kill me. I would totally make yeah. them. Or to, yeah. stop, or to stop those damn kids from getting in your shed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I knew it. No, if I if I thought the orcs were trying to kill me in real life, I would definitely set punji traps. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> or if they or if they're because, kids trying to get in your shed, like because I said. yeah, because orcs totally <laughs> totally exist in real life. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, if you suddenly found out that they exist and they were gonna come skin, rape, and eat you, not not necessarily in that order. Oh, Punji sticks for days, then. Yeah. Uh, All right. So is the, the night uneventful? Yeah, the night is uneventful, and morning uh, comes rolls around. Um, I've got two, three, so I've got an hour of memorization to do. Oh, I'll use on my heels before. The, oh, before the, the end day. of the day. Yep. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> I don't know who's low. I guess Daroll I'll give the 8 to. Yeah, uh, Housk is pretty low. Yeah, I'll use uh... Housk as well. For the 6 on Housk. I'll use 6 on myself. Mm -hmm. and, and then the T3s I'll use on... Holdron. Oh, hello? Hello. Oh, okay. It's just hello! So but I'm fine now. Are those all the heels you had you have left already that you dished out? Yes. Mm hmm Okay, so as you guys kind of get, get set up and ready to go in the morning, you see that big cloud big storm kind of stepping through the sky again, almost like it's watching you. How high is it flying? Very, very high up. My miles up. But it's, uh, it's quite big. It's about 50 feet tall. Are you just going to proceed and leave it, or, or what? I mean, hmm. Could we? How? M what could we do? Miles up. I suppose we just don't even bother with it. Yeah. So you guys continue on your journey through the... Uh, I mean, there's no, there isn't really a road anymore. It's just sort of like a dirt path. And uh, there's like farms and, and villages all about. 
um, as you're kind of walking walking in you know, through these rural areas. And uh, in the distance, you can finally see this tall rock spire, kind of just out in the middle of nowhere. And uh, one of the farmers who's kind of tending to his, his, you know, his fields right by the path comes up to the pie and he says, he says oh, he hello, travelers. What might you be here for? So his, what is it? He's a, he's a farmer that's just come up to talk to you guys. Uh, he's just making small talk. Hello. Um, <coughs> we are just traveling through. Says I wouldn't be heading to the spire, would you? We might pass through. Sir, it's, uh, it's, it's a very holy place, you understand, but uh, we we don't like to go there. It's bad luck. Shouldn't tread on sacred ground and whatnot. We'll be careful. Says, well, anyway, yeah. You know. Good, good luck. He kind of goes back to his his field, begins, you know, cutting up the the, the husks of corn, throwing them to a cart nearby. Um, does Phil remember exactly where the the dragon lives? I mean, I don't. <laughs> He's I mean, if you go to the spire, I remember it being pretty obvious. You can see yeah. all the stuff like growing. He he lives inside the spire, yeah. So um Yeah, let me So the spire is massive, it's kinda of like it's hundreds and hundreds of feet tall. It's just this big kind of brick, like this dark brown um, rock, like sandstone, that um, just goes miles and miles up into the sky, basically. Um, and there's some sort of nothing like that around it as well. It's just solitary on its own. And as you start to get closer, yeah, you see that in the area around the spire, there's all these plants grow. Um, in fact, things seem to grow even better around here than um, they did in the farm areas where people are growing their plants. And um, as you guys are coming, kind of coming down the path that leads to the to the base of the spire, and there's this old man kind of in a cloak. Uh, coming up the other way, and he seems very surprised to see you. And he says, "Oh, who, who are you? You you can't come here. This is a holy place. What are you doing?" Hmm. Wait, is he coming out of the spire? He's coming from that direction. Yes. Uh. We're just traveling through. He says, "Well, go go around. Do not come through here." Why not? Says it, it's a holy place. It'll bring much, much bad luck to the locals if you do. Says, I trust me, I, I am the sage. I am the sage of this village. I am the elder. You must not approach. I don't believe in all that horse crap. <laughs> You're a priest, aren't you? <laughs> he doesn't know that. <laughs> Uh, he says, "No, no, no! You, you mustn't. It, it, it would be terrible for you. There would be much bad luck would descend upon you, and on, and on the rest of us." I don't so believe please, you. 
You must not. We're looking for a friend in the village. Does it, uh, head, head to the village then, not this way. What? Who are you looking for? Perhaps I can, I can help you. Mm. And turns to Phil. Uh... I mean, I don't recognize him, do I? Uh, make an intelligence check. We're looking for a bronze... Mm. Shut up! No, I failed. No, okay, no, you don't recognize him at all. And he doesn't seem to recognize you either. We're looking oh. for a bronze-haired friend. But bronze-haired? What? I, 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 do you have a name? I am Phil George Nico Herodley. You may have heard of me. He says, I, I'm afraid I haven't. I'm just a country bumpkin. I, I wouldn't know anything of you city folk. Uh, okay. I mean, we could just gag him or something. <laughs> <laughs> Do you just say that out loud? <laughs> no, I, th I think I think it. So we we hmm. Well, we need the name, right? Do you, you remember the name of our friend, Phil? That's all. I Man think. Goes, what? what? How, how, how do you know about him? He kind of steps in closer. You don't remember me? He says, no. Who, who are you? I, if, I, if I remember correctly, we met at all. One day, and we met you. I think I'm not sure. Hold, hold on, were you? Was this last year that you were here? I think Maybe I, roughly. Anyways, oh, I remember the the trouble you you caused, putting ideas in his head. Just leave him be, won't you? He's at enough risk as it is in these times. Well, I think he'll be at more risk if we don't talk to him. And goes, oh. He'll only be found eventually. Because you really shouldn't get him involved in all this. Hello. And whatever your machinations are. I hate Hello. Yeah. I hate, I hate you. Hello. Hello. Yes, I hear you. Hello. Yeah, the old man says, oh, I, I don't want you getting involved in his machinations. You know, you, I don't want you getting him involved in your machinations. It's, that's no good. Just leave him be. He's just a poor creature. He's the last of his kind. Well, with his help, we might be able to um, get rid of the risk to him completely. Wait, you said what? Impossible. You, you can't mean to fight the country. In a way. What are you compared to an army? With the dragon, quite a lot. Just no, he, he would not stand a chance, I fear. I'm not saying we're going to fight an army with just him. That's, that's foolish. I mean, the guy doesn't seem very happy, but there's not really a lot he can do to stop you, so... Mm. No. 
do you guys proceed or what? I'm, I kind of need you guys to do stuff, you know. I don't want to constantly have to prompt. Uh, yes. So, uh, we were talking about entering the village in the holy place. Did you mean that, yeah. or did you just try to break uh, Terrace from the path? So we need to know if we're gonna, bad luck will befall us. Or your innocence. Did you just say that to scare us, or will you have to go and fetch the dragon for us? It's just says, to scare us. He says, I just say that to the villagers so that nobody finds out there's a dragon there. If they knew, then the dragon slayers would come down and they would kill him. They yes. kill indiscriminately. We're hurt. We're here to make sure like that doesn't happen anymore. Going and talking to him. Oh my God. The last time you were, you guys were here, you got him in enough trouble as it is. The lich is moving. He says, "What? He's... What lich? What is this nonsense?" Mm. You're in the dark, after all. You don't really know. You do, you do not know the whole situation. You must go talk this, to him. I know it has nothing to do with at all. Le leave him out of this. We have a real opportunity to stop this. To, bre to break free. I think him um, knowing doesn't do any harm anyway. He can make his own choices. Yes, oh, he's, oh, he's far too gullible. I don't have a gallbladder. What? What? <laughs> That's... <laughs> Gallbladders. Yes? Yeah, I don't know how that's entirely relevant. <laughs> <laughs> or, you know, even slightly. Alright, do you guys start to approach the spire, then? I do yeah. need a liver, though. I need a liver uh, breather. And we'll, and we'll stay behind. <laughs> and to go with approach. my side of fava beans. If he, pa if he panics, I don't, want, I don't want, you know, to save versus acid. It's save versus acid. Demons. With all the, you know, if he can see through the disguise, you know, Ox, uh, uh, Halsk, you know, the Grave Elemental. I don't want him to panic. He what well, acid? Exactly. All right. Never mind. Oh, wrong dragon. Okay. He, yeah, he doesn't breed that. I'd, I'd prefer that. to keep my hair in order. He just dry you off. And and do like... 100 points of damage. Prefer not to face him. <laughs> okay, who, who is approaching the, the dragon then? I am. Um... Yeah, Zavi? Spivey? I'm looking for a liver. A liver? To go with my side of fava beans and a bottle of Chianti. What? I don't know why he's referencing Silence of the Lambs, but... Are we ready to go? Yes. Well, Anne seems to not want to. And I'm okay. Anne could come, but I'll leave Owexel him... and Halsk behind. Right. What about that Gravy? One. Um. I think Gravy can come. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I was... Very. Besides, if he gets mad at us, I'll pop him out, and I'll use him to deflect the blast. You know, something. I'm, I'm a caring cat owner. I think. Well, as you guys um, kind of start to come towards the spire, you you very clearly see this uh, big brass-colored dragon um, kind of. Lounging lazily on one of the, the 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 rocks that kind of leads to the cave, he's lounging in the sun, um, 
and he has his eyes closed. He's just lying there on this big rock. Um, Phil just shouts hello. Well, Phil, looks like there are dragons. The uh, big brass dragon kind of gets gets to his feet and he goes, "What? Oh, who is that?" I don't know if you remember G Gavon, me. Gavon, is that you? No. It says, "Oh, travelers, I see." pokes his head out. He's like, what are you? What are you doing here? How, how goes your day? It's very uh, nice and sunny, isn't it, don't you think? I just yes. love it. Yes, okay. It, you know, it reminds me of that one time when yeah. I stopped the troll invasion. All, yeah. all of them single-handedly. I I've saved heard everybody. Of, I've heard it was about amazing. This. I've heard of this. Yes, it was a sunny day then, too. Yes. <laughs> Do you also remember the day when you... um? Helps some adventurers escape from a prison. He says, I do, and I remember you as well. Okay, Young so Phil. you know I know about these. A, the... a dragon never forgets. <laughs> okay, so you said to us that if there, uh, there was a lich in the lands, you said you, you would help us. Of course, yes. A fa me. Such a foul beast, I would surely yes. dispatch with... Quickly, for I am the great Atoll. I, I have defeated you. many things in the far more powerful than a lich in the past. Don't you worry about that. I remember you okay. looking much more like the nose cone of a 747 back then. Uh, sorry, you sounded like... Robocop. Yeah, oh. <laughs> you sounded like Robocop going into a blender. <laughs> uh... Well, there's an update. We've there's a lich, turns out, and of Maradan of yeah, Maradan is a lich. I remember you being uh, much shaped much more like the nose cone of a 747 back then. I like how you. Says, yes, I've lost quite a lot of weight. <laughs> I'm glad you noticed. <laughs> uh, it's funny because it's true. <laughs> he did look exactly like the nose cone of a 747. <laughs> yeah. That was back before... Before tokens. <laughs> yeah, I think we had the no, bit, not a dragon one. There was no token like that, yeah, that I could find. Um, I don't want to jump to conclusions, but we are going. We're thinking of destroying the slitch, and we so thought I we'd let you we'll know. Simply point me in his direction, and I will obliterate him. Uh, but, uh, it's not as simple as that. One thing I'm I'm confused about. You says you say he is the king of this Ma Maradan. Where where is that? Uh, I guess you don't know about this. The whole kingdom around here is controlled. I, no, I am the king. Don't be, I am the great atoll. Is the king? Oh, oh. must slay this imposter. The king. The king. Everybody of, yeah. knows how how famous I am. I'm a great hero. I'm sure I would be considered more of a king than, than this lich you speak he's, of. He's the king of a town, not of the... You're definitely more famous than him, but... Says, oh, I, that's good, that's good. More of a mayor, I guess. So, ah, I see, a, a, a lich mayor. Oh, that's, that's, uh, that's no good. Yes. <laughs> the thing about a lich is they're very hard to kill. I don't know if you know about them. Says, so oh, um, of, of course I do. I've slain m many a lich. But uh, uh, how do you do it again? So, <laughs> so it's whisper, first whisper. of all, before Come you on. can just you destroy, yes? Is, is this guy senile? 
Uh, no, he's not. He's quite young. He's quite young. He's just sheltered. I'm, I'm whispering this to you, by the way, not in front of him. <laughs> How far are we away from the dragon? Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, like twenty feet. <laughs> yeah, he, he, it's this is his lair, right? Yeah. Oh, he, he can hear that whisper. <laughs> oh, shit, my bad. Shit. Oh, well, my no. my intention was not... to keep it as low as possible. <laughs> you're te- no, you're technically not within his lair. No, he uh, he lives inside the caves. Ah, shit. He kind of he just kind of looks at the pie and he goes, "Hmm." It, it. He says, "I I've never seen an elemental like that before." Oh yes, you like him? We got him today. I got him yesterday. His, his name's Gravy. Oh, and a, a were rat too, I see. And uh, what is a vor doing here? That's just fluffy. He's a sweet but fluffy. Suddenly a ragtag group, but I see you have good intentions. Yes, we do. Anyway, to kill a lich is a lot more difficult than you might think. I'm going to remind you, because you already know, I know. Oh, but yes, you... of course I do, but just, you know, to, to humour the others, I Yes. Suppose. Um, first of all, you have to destroy a phylactery um, before you can kill a lich. It's impossible to kill it before you, before you kill the phylactery. And um, you have to use a special sword that we own. Um, says, oh well, I, I will simply destroy the phylactery and 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 the lich in one fell swoop then with my breath. Yes, but you need you cannot destroy them by any means. You have to use um, obsidian. It says, oh, uh, of course, yes, yes, of of course. So um, we were just telling you if you could help in any way. We should probably tell him what would happen if he does come out. Like, the fact that he'll be pursued in the Dragon Slayers. Mm. We, can't really get him, we can't really ask his help without him knowing what would happen. Um... I guess I'd say, but sure. for now, we should sit tight. We need to figure these things out. Because um, we need to find a way of getting him there without anyone seeing him, basically. That's true. What we, we need to do is we travel to Merit. If we can fight the Lich now, I'm not... Could we? Um, well, we can destroy him in one hit, but we have to hit him. And we've had to get his phylactery. We have to, to know what that phylactery. is. If we go to the wall, we could do it. With what? Well, if we use everything we have, I think we could go for him right now. Yeah, but we have. I think the dragon's just a big help. I don't know. Well, the dragon would we would require the dragon. We'd have to get to his keep. You know, we'd use our we'd use our powers to find out where the, where the lizard's phylactery is destroy it, and go directly for the king before he can make a new one. Hmm. We could have two at once. We could have a toll destroy the phylactery and us kill the lich. But we'd have to get to his castle. His keep Merid- Meridor. Yeah. Hmm. we have to go for it, I, I suppose. Toll, can you transform between a, hu- a human or a demi-human form? Oh, of course I can. However, I uh, I don't like to, you know, make make the the lessers feel too bad about it, so I don't do it. Ah, yes. Well, I suppose we'd have to bring him with us. There's no way of contacting him otherwise. Uh, Toll, do you know of a gigantic cloud? Yeah, about. Fifty feet large, following us around. Uh, 
He says, uh, no. Following you around? Yeah. Yes. It's the same. Reminds me of a great uh, enemy. Well, great, great, you know, for you. But for me, it's nothing that I defeated in the past. <laughs> Some sort of elemental, I believe. Looks very... Uh, a, a tempest, Gavon called it. Hmm. Have you got any more information on it? What does it do? Did you kill it? Oh, it, it, it dies instantly to my breath weapon. I know that much. Okay. Is it aggressive? It's, oh, extremely. They're nasty things. They drain all of the, the fluids from uh, their, their, their prey. Ah. I start looking around for the uh, storm cloud now. <coughs> Would it, it have already attacked us? Right now. Not sight. All right. So then... I suppose we would have to ask you to come with us, be our traveling partner. Well, we can't have him running around. <laughs> well, we, we have huge. to. Well, he'd have to switch into his form. What form? His human form. He can't switch form, forms, dum dum. He says, oh no, I can, I just don't, I, I don't like to. Yeah, dum dum. I don't like other people feeling bad. Well, we're off to go kill the lich then. May you come up? May you come with us? Oh, we'd have to tell you. Uh, if you choose, if this mission you choose to accept, you'll have dragon slayers down till the end of the earth after you. This is dra dragon slayers. Why would anybody want to slay me? Everybody knows of the great Atoll hero. Well, let's greatest assume hero they, alive. Let's assume they do. And you know of all the other dragons in this land, yes? He says, other dragons? Exactly. He does not. That's the Dragon Slayer's work. He says, what, what are you talking about? Uh, I have no, met no Dragon Slayers. What possible reason could they have for slaying me? The, oh. the great Atoll. Well, just so they would go after you. Even if they have no reason. Because you're a dragon, and they're racists. Yes, hmm. They would go. They would hunt you down to the ends of the earth and kill you. That's there's why there's no dragons. Crackers. Huh? He said those damn crackers. <laughs> yes, they they would they would never stop hunting you. Now the benefits are great and many. Such as us being able to get out of this, out of this place. Just, well, that would be no, no trouble for me. Surely, I, I would just, I would simply slay them when they came to, to apprehend me. They're obviously very evil if they would just attack such a noble beast like myself for no, for no good reason. Yeah, they are often. called dragon slayers for a reason. Exactly. Because they. Let's assume, slay you're, let's assume your, your breath weapon and magic doesn't work. Let's assume you cannot detect them in your lair. Let's assume your claws have no effect on them. Could you still slay them? Says, of course I could. I am the great at all. I could slay anything. Well, do you see any being before you that could best me? I see his pride is too large mm. to admit defeat in such an occasion. I kind of, I kind of feel bad. I don't think he knows what he's getting into. Yeah, the thing with dragon slayers is they'll keep coming forever. You constantly have to fight them. They're annoying as fuck. Even if you could kill them, they just keep coming. And you will lose. It's, it's, oh well, that's oh, that's not an. No, I, I will never lose. But that's that's not an issue. I'm, I'm, I'm. I would be willing to help you in return. For something, say. Oh yes, I need to mention. If we do kill the lich, you'd be free to fly to other lands. You've been kind of. I, I feel you've kind uh, of other been, lands. I. Yes, you'd be able to meet other dragons. I am, I am free, to... free to help to other lands whenever I wish. I simply choose not to. Ah yes. Gowan well, says it is. There is no crap. point. It's crap everywhere else, really. Exactly. Well, I'd rather play of places to be outside. 
about he someone's says, murder. He, Gavon says that everywhere else is already fine and happy, and they, no, they don't need me, but they need me here. So I stay here. He's wise. Yes, well... Gavon may have been, I look at Phil, sheltering you from... Nobody the... shelters me. I am too big and too strong. All right, well, let's just assume that after the Lich is dead, other female bronze dragons will be free to migrate here. There's bronze dragons? Well, brass yeah, dragons. Brass, like dragon. brass dragons. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, you want, maybe you want some exotic babes. How dare know. you, he says. And he, <laughs> he breathes at you. And <laughs> makes a saving throw, please. Uh, in, front of, in front of Phil. He just does a little puff at you. Shit. Is that a pass? Um, versus breath weapon, I don't think. Oh no, it's it's what? Yeah, it's perfectly on the dot. Twelve. All right, okay. You you feel a little bit drowsy, but you don't actually fall asleep. In that case, he just goes. Hmm. How rude. Well, the point still stands. Other bra other female brass dragons would be here to come and go as they wish. You know, meet you, such a handsome at all. They say. Oh, hello. 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 Oh, I think someone left. Ah. Oh. oh, well. Oh. <laughs> Shit. Fuck's sake. He left um, Roll20 as well. Yeah. Mm. I, kinda feel I really feel bad about this. He, he may... Hello? Hi. Hello. Yeah, I DC'd again. Mm. Alright, so... Yes, uh, brass, brass, uh, brass dragon babes. Here's hmm? oh, I've no need for that. Brass dragon men? I don't know. He says, "I am, I am great enough as it is." Ah. He says, "I already get all the babes." But but I will, uh, I, because you know my my horde could be bigger though. Hmm. If you uh, get what I'm saying. Oh yes, I I do, I do. Well, I mean, should we kill the lich, you'll have access to all of Meridan and its riches, all of the lich's treasure. We'll probably go 50-50? He says, ah, yes, that, that is... That is good. What are you most interested in? Coins or magic items? He says, oh, it's all, everything. Ah, you like everything. Everyone else is fine with 50-50? Yes. He is a huge ass dragon after all. Okay, so uh Atoll agrees to, to to travel with the group. How are you going to travel with him? I would ask him to switch to his human form, if at all possible. Uh he says, Oh no, I, I, I don't do that. It's against my morals. If someone else were to So you could not transform yourself, right? What if someone else were to transform you? He says, oh, no, no, no. That's, no, that's, no, that's not okay. Uh, if you're talking about pulling him off other as well, that would change his personality completely. It would, yeah. Well, it depends on if I switch it to low. 
because he'd have a, he's a dragon, so he'd have a massive bonus against switching per day, up to almost a hundred percent. That's for the mechanics of the spell. Hmm. Because the mechanics of the spell, if like you switch to something lesser, you like it's five percent off every like chance of switching. So I swap into like a normal human of one hit dice, like five percent for every hit dice he's missing, in that form. So he'd never switch personalities. Oh, I see. In that, in that case, yeah. Yeah. No, he 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 would not want you to turn him into something else anyway. We need to turn you into something else so we can hit him by surprise. He won't expect the mighty famous atoll to just pop up out of nowhere. He says, "Oh, we we do not need the element of surprise. That is fine." I, I will simply you. defeat him in the field, as I have always done. Well, looks like we're going in Rambo style, guys. How about we just climb on his back? I don't know about that. We don't even know where it is. <laughs> well, he'll likely be in Meridan. He'll probably high enough. He's probably we need to know where the flasher is. Yes, yeah, so we could. Uh, Atoll says, I can hide out in the wilderness whilst you gather information on him. Yes, yes. How can we find you? Is there a way we can contact you? Like, do you have a uh, special call? A horn? Or something of that nature? the fuck do you think I have? A taxi service? <laughs> no. <laughs> but is there a way that we could communicate with you? I will find you? another layer up in the mountains and you'll have to come find me. I mean, you could stay here. There's no reason for you to leave here. Well, I mean, we, we need to be able to... You need to be close. Because we, if we have to move quickly, then... He'll have to come. Mm. Yeah, he'll be within a day, so... Yeah. He'll just find a cave or something in the forest. Well, that's the best solution. So, then we have to we travel to the keep, then. Okay. We'll have to travel... Alright, so we have to decide as a group if this whole using a wish to find the Lich's phylactery is worth it. There must be a better way of finding it. I mean, and you're getting pretty close to it before when you were following up leads in uh, Maradan in the past. Ah. So we found out that it was in a graveyard to the north, to the northeast of Maradan. You just didn't find out which graveyard it is. Oh, well, that's that's brilliant. Then we practically already know. Well, all all roads lead to Maradan then. Or Meridor. Hello? All all roads lead to Meridor. Hello? Do you hear so, me? I can yeah, hear I hear you. Yeah, I keep I keep disconnecting. Mm. Okay. Um yeah, I suppose on that note we'll end we'll end the session here then, because I'm having a lot of connection issues now. I wanna <laughs> close things out before then. But uh, yeah, Atoll agrees with, to head with you guys to Maradan, where um, he'll, he'll fly you there next session. Um, and you'll begin your investigation to hunt down the phylactery and uh, Maladin himself. Mm -hmm. Alright? Yep, yeah, seems fair. And uh, yeah, on that note, I'm gonna, I'm gonna head out now. But uh, I'll see you guys next week. Alright, see you guys. Bye. Bye. Thanks for DMing. No problem.